Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Now, as you may know, Brexit is not going to be happening October the 31st. Fucking great. Now, it's kind of obvious this was going to happen. Now, so as obvious... So the European leaders have agreed for an extension to January 21st. No, sorry, 31st. Wish it was 21st, that'd be quicker. So, yeah, kind of fuck you to Brexit on that one. But I kind of really believe they've actually done it, but then again, I kind of I, I get it too. Because it's like, they, the SNP and the Lib Dems sent a letter to the EU yesterday begging for an extension to happen. And I found that the EU was going to wait until the general election results was going to show up and see if they were actually were going to do it, see if it was actually worth the time. Because what did they not say that they were going to wait until the general election would be the most plausible reason to have the extension? Yeah, that was all bluff. Yeah, <laughs> that was all fucking bluff. Now, it's it, this is really fucking irritating because I don't. I don't know if anyone's noticed this, but you put pressure on all the businesses now saying, fucking hell, when are we actually going to leave? When are we actually going to leave? Because it's it's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know why they think this was a good idea. But it's happening now, October the 31st, and Halloween is not the day that we're leaving the European Union. It might be January. We've got this source from the BBC News and see what it says. And see as unbiased as it can be. Boo, 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 boo. Brexit. European leaders agree extension the 31st of January. Fucking great. We're never going to get three more months of this shit. EU leaders have agreed in the principle to extend Brexit until the 31st of January 2020, meaning the UK will not leave as planned on Thursday, which is going to rustle a lot of feathers amongst the the Brexiteers. Now, I don't know why Boris put the thing up for his general election, which we'll get to eventually, but they've all, all the Lamoners in Parliament have finally got their way. So we're never going to bloody leave now. Let's see what else it's going to say. The EU Council President Donald Tusk said it was a flex flexation, sorry, meaning the UK could leave before the deadline if the deal was proposed approved by Parliament. Now the thing is, you were supposed to wait before the general election result come up, and that was it. But the thing is, you know it's not going to work, because Parliament doesn't agree on anything that Boris says. So how the hell are you going to get through anything in the bloody house? Anyway, it comes to the MPs prepared to vote the proposals by Boris Johnson for an early general election on the 12th of December. The SNP and Lib Dems have also opposed a general election on December 9th, which I made for a video yesterday, which hasn't been posted yet because it's slow on YouTube. And this is just so they can get the students an extra vote. The scumbags, scumbuckets they are. A number 10 source said the government would introduce a bill, almost incidental, to the Lib Dem and S SNP option on Tuesday. If Labour voted their plan down later and we will have a plea election anyway. Yeah, but the thing is, they want the... They, they're not happy with anything that comes through the boss's mouth anyway. He's... The, I think the Labour Party's more happy to keep him in power. Which is kind of stupid. But it looks like we're gonna get that anyway. Which I'm kinda... I was against the idea of the... Excuse me, I was kind of against the idea of having a general election in the first place, but the thing is, after the if everything has went on, <laughs> you might as well have an election, because you're just going to, you know, you get rid of all that fuckers doing in Parliament. But the thing is, they don't want to do that either, because they don't want to lose their seats, because Labour's worried about losing it, the Lib Dems and the SNP think they're not going to win. They haven't won any elections yet, so don't go back to that. Um, the Prime Minister is trying to pressure MPs to agree to a new timetable for his Brexit deal registration and election on December 12th, which will be happening today. So that'll be interesting to see uh, during my tea break. The Lib Dems SNP plan, plan does not include a new timetable for 
Flex his registration. Well, that's fucking obvious because they don't want it. The BV political editor. Oh, Jesus Christ, can't speak. Political editor Laura Kuzberg said it was not clear whether government would stick to a December 9th election date, which appeals ministers would give up attempts to get the bill through. Now, they want that to happen, but are they ever going to let that happen? Probably not. This is also not clear whether the government's most identical yay bill would be and sorry amendable allowing MPs to vote issues like customs union and other referendum yeah that's because they don't want the fucking thing to happen and, and the EU's probably not going to agree on that, because why would you? Hey, let's go and ha make a deal, and then let's go change the deal to say no to a deal. That's great, that's that's a little clever thought. I mean, I didn't think that myself. Um, Labour shadow cabinet meetings to decide whether on the position ahead for the custom vote. The UK is due to leave the EU on Thursday, but Mr Johnson is required to request the extension after Parliament failed to agree to a new deal. The Prime Minister had <coughs> repeatedly said the UK would leave on the October 21st deadline without or, with or without a deal, but the law known as the Ben Act requires him to accept the EU extension offer. Yes, that's... That's correct. That is very correct itself. But... There's a big issue with that. Well, the fact is, Boz did exactly say what he said. He was going to get a deal. He got a deal. But the, the UK Parliament said no. It was very similar to Theresa May's deal, which I really don't like his deal, because it's similar to Theresa May's one, and you know, we all know why that deal didn't go through three times. So, even to get Boz's one, to get not even get through, you know, they even asked the question yet. It's it's pathetic, and then they built the parliament built the Ben Act, which was stupid, but that's why Boris wasn't allowed just to leave without a deal, which he already has, and they didn't even want to vote on the deal. <laughs> so thanks, John, for that. And then he just uh, he has to accept accept the EU extension offer, despite the letter he didn't sign saying it was the UK. Parliament that wanted extension, but not him, which makes sense. So weird. It's it's fucking weird. I, I hate this sometimes. Boris Johnson's do or die plea to leave the October first to tea first is no more. It is dead. Well, we kind of figured that out from last week after he summoned a general election. I was stupid. If he just shut his mouth about a general election, maybe it wouldn't have been an offer. But he wants to get this vote through for his deal, like Theresa May has. Don't know if that's just stupid. Many will see this as a no deal Brexit beginning to take off the table, at least until January 31st. But well, that's what the La Labour and Lib Dems and SNP want. They don't want the UK to leave without a deal. But the thing is, Every time a deal comes up, you say no to it, and you don't want to deal with it. So you just want us to stay part of the European Union no matter what. It's stupid. This will, this will increase arguments in the Commons that with no deal pact, Parliament has now made decision on election. And this Mr Johnson is trying to argue for the next few days. Well, it's just obviously not going to work. And just see what else is here. Is there actually anything interesting in this that's actually worth its information Donald Tusk's little message there don't really fucking care about that because also on here we have the tweet account from the Twitter Donald Tusk the EU 27 has agreed that it will accept the UK's request for an Brexit extension until January 31st, 2020. The decision is expected to be 
formalized through unwritten procedure, procedure sorry. Yes, it's so that's pretty much confirmed even if he's going to say that himself. Now there is another thing that could be coming up as well which isn't on the BBC site here, which I'll hopefully I'll change that soon. Um, it's actually on another page, but I can't mind what it's called, so you've got the picture of it here. Same, same article, same thing, but we could have different dates for leaving. As it goes. This morning, hopes were raising that the Emmanuel Macron, hope I'm saying your name right, could support the extension, despite the internal objections. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, I think you were really taking the cons with that one, weren't you, Macron? Uh, it was really unexpected for you to say what you said. Anyway, following the call over the weekend between the Prime Minister and the French President, if France backs the for extension for a three-month delay to January 31st, 2020, could be agreed. Not if it happens. <laughs> it's not going to happen. There are another three dates which, when the extension could fall away if the deal is ratified by the House of Commons and the European Parliament. So, instead of having one Brexit date, October the 31st, we have three dates now. That's great. I have to keep my little YouTube video for that then. That's great. So what do we have for dates? Dates. We, the, sorry, um, I've lost count of where I'm going. Um, meaning the Brexit delay could be 11 p.m. on Saturday, November the 30th, Tuesday, the December the 31st, or Friday, January 31st. Now, so that is two different, that's three different dates at the end of each month. So, even if um, Boris somehow gets to get through this deal, gets it through, we could be leaving within a potential of three months. But, knowing how everything's going to go in the future, it's probably not going to go that way. Because the way everything usually goes in Parliament, it's always against the will of Brexit, because everyone has the majority of Remain. So it's probably not going to happen. But at least we have three possible dates to go. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not going to happen, but at least we know the actual dates. Um, so, after this, with the Prime Minister we were talking today about the, uh, um, sorry, the general election. Possibly he could be win the general election with the support of the SNP, the Lib Dems and Labour. But, you know, those people do not want a general election because they'll be running away like the chickens when you show up for their supper. It will not happen. But there's that thing which I made the video yesterday which should be up. If it's not, well, find it. Um, there's not a lot of videos. Um, about the SNP and Lib Dems new bill which could actually force a 9th of um, December election, you know, general election. But we'll have to see about that later. And I'll be making a video later on about the general election when it comes. You know, the actual results, see how bad it's going to be. Because I know they're not going to win. Everyone knows that's not going to win. It's already sad enough today that we haven't even got Brexit going to happen on Thursday as it is. So, I guess the, that Brexit video of mine will have to wait another few months. So, if you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I am trying to do my best as I can to make more content as possible, and more freely, and more possible for you guys to watch. Now, please subscribe, even if you don't really want to watch my videos. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good idea. If you want Brexit, I'll talk about Brexit. If you want politics, I'll talk about politics. Because YouTube is taking down subscribers, taking down accounts and channels, so the people cannot get through to people like me, the ones who talk the truth and a bit of common sense. So if you want to see any more over common sense from my point of view, please subscribe to the channel and link the notification bell when you can. So hope you have a good day. 
and see you later. Hail to the Empire.